Hi there, it's Danielle here from Declutter Life and today I'm with Dala DeMauro from Heartwork Organising in America. Dala has visited us all the way from America where organising has been um, a pretty big thing. It's, it's pretty common over there to, to work with an organising specialist and we all come from different places, don't we? It's relatively new here in Australia. I'd like to explore that with you, your journey and what you see as the unique skill sets that we bring to help our, our customers. I think you're exactly right, Danielle. When you look into the professional organizers, and you can find them either at APO, the Australasian Association of Professional Organizers uh, here in Australia, or in America, it's NAPO, the National Association of Professional Organizers. But when you find these organizations and the people that are working in them, you often find that they have these amazing backgrounds. Um, most of us, not all, but most of us have come to organizing as a second or third or maybe fourth yeah. um, uh, situation, career in our life. And so myself, you know, I came from uh, project management, corporate, IT, I have a master's in business, so I have these background skills that help me project manage yes. and work with a variety of different people and um, and I can help with financial management and not in the same way an accountant would. That's you know? right. So I'm, yeah. so I'm more business management. Um, and, and all of this leads to what my team and myself are doing in my business. Um, you know, you have your particular skills. That's right, I came from international development. Um, you know, this time last year I was working on the Ebola response in Sierra Leone, project managing again. I think that's the key to, to approaching, um, you know, each, each job that we do, right. isn't it? It's applying those skills. I've been a funeral arranger, so also knowing how to interact personally with people because that's at the heart of it, what we do. It's that's connecting, right. isn't it? That's and right. then overlaying that with some, some organizing systems too. Right. So people do think that they're calling a professional organizer to deal with the stuff. No. And it's never about the stuff. No. You know that. <laughs> yeah. It's always about the people. So what we're trying to do is help the people see the end goal yes. and you and I with our project management skills and so many of our peers are able to help get that person from here That's through right. all the road bumps to whatever the end result is. And it's never the same for any two clients. No, no. So, um, you know, so as you're going out to consider whether you want to invest your money in working with a professional organizer, I would say look at a couple of different profiles, um, check on what their skills are, and see if that matches what you're looking to accomplish. You know, if you, right. if you need help in a closet, that's going to be a different skill set than if you need help managing, you know, setting up a financial management for your small business. So that's right. um, it may be the same team to help in both cases and it may not be, but that's okay. We have a just great call a great group of colleagues all around the world. And supportive as well. In Australia if you're looking for an organizer as Dallas said, jump onto www.apo a a p o dot com dot no dot org dot a u <laughs> <laughs> um, and you'll be able to find uh, an organizer in your local area, likewise in, in America as well. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Danielle. Thanks so much, Darla.